Hi, I'm Peter Backris, and I'm going to give you a brief overview of how to prototype electronics hardware. Here are just some of the hardware applications in healthcare innovation that are active right now. We have wearable monitors, including uh, consumer and medical grade devices, Internet of Things to connect different uh, things such as pill bottles and items in the healthcare delivery to the Internet, robotics, especially for surgery in research, and then as well as a great interest in point of care diagnostics right now to greatly reduce the cost and timing of doing lab testing. Here's some reasons to consider including hardware in your uh, solution. Right now it's a great way to differentiate your solution and become more competitive. We all know that there's thousands and thousands of apps right now and it's very hard to become competitive in that space, so adding a hardware component can really make you stand out. There's a wide opportunity right now to innovate on existing and as well as future medical devices, especially with the areas of wireless connectivity, Internet of Things, and wearables. Additionally, the barriers to prototyping electronics is now much lower due to the availability of easier to use uh, hardware and software development platforms. Possibly the most popular electronics developing platform available is Arduino. This is an open source electronic prototyping platform that makes it easy for practically anyone to begin uh, building digital devices that can sense and control objects. And anyone with little to no experience with electronics can pick this up rather quickly. It includes both inexpensive hardware and free software tools that make it easier to begin uh, prototyping simple and even advanced electronics. What Arduino has done is made it possible for many different uh, microcontrollers, which are uh, small computers that are on a single integrated circuit, to be programmed from a single cross-platform interface. These boards come ready to be programmed and, and connected to different devices. And some of these different devices are shields, which are, make it very easy to connect and stack upon the base uh, Arduino boards and add additional functionality, such as Wi-Fi, connectivity, Ethernet, SD card storage, motor control, GPS, audio playback, and, and many other different functions. The other major innovation that Arduino developed is their Arduino Integrated Develop Environment, or IDE. And this is, makes it really easy to program the boards, and they developed a really easy to use programming language that beginners can really get started quickly. They've made it very easy to program a wide range of compatible microcontroller boards with a programming sketch. And this sketch is a simple template that includes a setup function and a loop function. The setup function is something you write to initialize your board and it only runs once during powering on or resetting the board. And then a loop function which runs repeatedly and executes and operates the device. Another popular alternative to Arduino is Raspberry Pi. And this is basically a single board open source computer that can run operating systems including Linux, Windows 10, and Android. And this will allow you to do even more computationally intensive tasks such as image processing, uh, data processing, and human computer interaction. Here's a Raspberry Pi that was used to make a classic handheld video game console. There's a wide range of sensors available that can connect to either Arduinos or Raspberry Pis, uh, including uh, proximity, temperature, pressure, sound, light, air quality, location, and many other types of sensors. There's even more advanced sensors for biometric applications such as photoplethmography, EEG, EKG, EMG, galvanic skin response, electrodermal activity, motion, and other physiological and bio biometric sensing capabilities. Both Arduino and Raspberry Pi are great for prototyping robotics. You can do this by combining sensors to monitor the environment and to control the mechanical output such as motors and valves and pumps. Uh, some types of motors you should become familiar with are DC motors, which can run continuously, stepper motors, which rotate in discrete controllable increments, and servo motors, which are good for controlling uh, rotational position. If you're interested in integrating hardware into your solution, I really encourage you to check out some electronic stores to buy electronic com components, including Arduino and Raspberry Pi, such as Adafruit.com and SparkFun. And if you really want to see them in person, hands-on, you can even check out Tinkersphere, which is located in New York City. Again, you don't have to have any experience with programming or electronics to get started with these, and I encourage you to search the internet for projects and tutorials in Raspberry Pi and Arduino. There's thousands of examples for and creative projects that people have done and posted online, and you can really learn a lot quickly. Thank you, and happy hacking.